folks, uh, welcome to the next update on our uh, E46 uh, drift car project. So what we've been doing today is we've been putting together the high voltage uh, kind of terminal box for the traction battery. So that's basically just a plastic box that contains the main contactor, uh, pre-charging circuitry, fuse, shunt and uh, just a few other bits and pieces. So we've been getting that box built, uh, getting a mounting set up uh, in the car for that. Um, so yeah, uh, just basically getting ready now to where we'll be able to drive the car um, under its own steam without you know, being plugged into the mains with a power supply or something like that. We'll be actually, actually able to drive it ar around a bit and uh, start working out some more of the bugs out of the system. Um, so the other thing that we're going to be doing with this car is we're going to be uh, experimenting with the inherent <coughs> uh, charging feature uh, that's now been added to the inverter uh, software. So if that works out, that could be very interesting for us because it gives us the ability to do high power charging uh, with only a handful of extra components. So we'll have a, we'll have a separate installment on that uh, when we get to try that particular procedure out. So, okay, let's go have a look at uh, what we've been doing and uh, we'll pick it up then. Alrighty, so this is our bracket uh, for mounting our high voltage um, control box kind of thing. So we're going to basically weld it in here and our control box is going to sit here. We'll be then bracing it off the strut tower. So let's go ahead and get this guy welded in. See how it looks. At least we didn't burn through. Okay. Okay, that's looking pretty good there. I think that's going to work out for me. All right, let's go ahead and get it welded up. Alrighty, so this is our um, high voltage connection box, uh, distribution box, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's basically just uh, made up pretty much out of uh, parts that I had um, here. Um, apart from the contactor and a fuse, um, a very generous uh, gentleman in the UK uh, donated those components to me, so thank you very much for that. Um, so in the in the box, uh, very simply, we have a Kilovac uh, 500 amp contactor. We have a 300 amp fuse, we have a 500 amp uh, 50 millivolt shunt, um, a 12 volt DC relay, a 330 ohm uh, resistor. Now. What we do here is, this is the pre-charge relay uh, and this is the main contactor. Both of these are controlled from the inverter. Uh, the pre-charge relay basically bypasses 
the main contactor via uh, the 330 ohm resi resistor. And let's uh, a low power, but a one amp uh, pre-charge current flow into the DC bus capacitors in the inverter. Uh, once the uh, control system then <coughs> determines that the capacitors have charged up, it turns on the main contactor and switches off uh, the pre-charge relay. Uh, the fuse is pretty self-explanatory. It's a 350 amp uh, little fuse uh, rated to 450 volts DC. Um, shunt is one that I had from an old uh, battery monitoring system for a 12 volt battery. Um, it's 500 amp shunt. Uh, at 50 millivolts output at 500 amps and we have um, just rigged up a twisted pair cable to it here uh, and I will be connecting this uh, to a center zero ammeter uh, which we will get to uh, later when we're putting that in the car then we just have a three core cable here <coughs> um, that is a 12 volts positive in red, uh, main contactor ground in blue, and pre-charge relay ground in black. So that's it. It's a very, very simple uh, setup. Uh, so let's go have a look at the car here. Let me show you guys um, this, get a bit of light on here. Mounting bracket. Um, you'll have seen me just welding that in there. So that is now in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pretty much mount um, the uh, box in here. Uh, we will be bolting it uh, on the bottom to this, to this piece of angled steel that uh, we just welded in. Then I'm going to make a little uh, bracket just to come off that strut tower there. That's it. Actually, probably do need to put a brace on that, all right, but it's very, uh, it's actually worked out very well there. All right, cool. All right, so that's our box uh, bolted in there. And uh, unfortunately, the bit of metal I have for my top bracket's a bit short, so I'm gonna get another one of these brackets um, and that'll just brace the top of that box. Uh, to the strut tower there It's grand at the minute, you know, it's not going to go anywhere, but Definitely when we start throwing the car around a bit uh, we're going to need <coughs> to have that secured so That is about it uh, for this uh, Install at the minute guys um, So yeah, it's kind of Worked out pretty darn neatly and pretty darn simply that's the way we like it. Guys, so hope you enjoyed that. Um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, we're getting ready to, to wire up the high voltage systems. And uh, pretty much as I said earlier, just take the car for a little bit of a spin. And um, yeah, just start to shake the thing out. So, okay, thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Uh, check me out on Instagram and we'll see you all next time. Safe driving.